day for it. Where have these days been? Just nice to have some sun on my skin. Today, we're moving some sheep. They're mainly tegs, and I've got to move them to another place. Haven't been over happy with them, not gonna lie. They haven't got that bloom about them, you know? So, I just wanna get them in, handle them, get to take a poo sample, send it off, see if we've got some problems going on. We've got to literally move them a mile up the road. Wanted to run them, but it's quite busy, so. <laughs> I'm not that good a shepherd. Who am I kidding? Come on, girls, have I got some grass for you? We got a lovely bite of grass for him to go on. We fenced it yesterday the lazy way. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. And that should hold them for a good month. Let's go try and get these ewes now in uh, that pen which could be interesting. They should be quiet in lamb now, so I don't really want to dog them about. Tried to buy some fodder beet yesterday. It's not the year to do that. It's um, a bit tricky, very tricky. We don't feed our sheep anything. We just give them Crystalix tubs and we give them fodder beet. And the fodder beet's usually 30 pound a ton. You can buy no end of it. This year it's 50 pound a ton and you can't even buy it. The ground dragged across the dirt. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn. But they're not gonna, not gonna work. Right, so these are the ewes. There's a few older ewes in them. The North Country mules are all tags. So these white, these are Texel mules. That one we actually bred ourselves. These here we bought in. That's an older ewe. That's the perfect sheep for me. You see the size of her? She's compact. Has just as good a lamb as any of them. Eats half the amount of food. That's like my dream sheep. And they actually look a lot better up close. But where we've been doing the lookering and stuff, I've just not been overly excited by them. The route we're sort of going down is Texel mules. Ones like that, not overly huge. A lot of these, both of these in fact, lambdas, ewe lambs. A lot of these are lambdas, ewe lambs. I have gone on about it before, so this ewe here I bred myself. That is a good sheep. And that is why we bought the Millennium Blues to go on the Texel mules. So hopefully these white faced ladies are gonna breed with him and produce something like that. That's what we're sort of aiming for. And then we will try, if we don't have to sell everything because we've got no money, we're gonna try and retain the females as a bit more of a long-term plan. That's more my size sheep. They run around on grass, you don't have to feed them anything all year. I I got them in because I've been unhappy with them. They've actually been one of those ones, you know you lay in bed at night, you go home, you think, oh man, they look like crap, but I need to sort them out. But they actually look quite well, I'm actually quite pleased. I mean, that one's had a fight with a bramble bush, but it's all right around. So now I'm just going to load these up gently, shift them down the road, and then I can stop stressing about them for a few days. Look at that. 50 acres of grass girls. Now the only thing giving me a little bit of anxiety, classic Chris style, I've got a Unix, all this is electric fence. Most of these have been behind electric last winter, so they should be pretty good. I've got one unit and um, it was literally underwater on the last place we had it because the river burst and my unit was floating. And I haven't checked that it works yet. And I haven't got a plan B, so if this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Also needs a bit of bodging together. 
because I am the breaker of things. I've lost my pen knife again, obviously. Moment of truth. Pick that bow up. I think it's working. Well, that's a bit handy, isn't it? Enough to make them look. Whew. Tell you what, sometimes you just need a bit of luck. Recently, we ain't had a lot, I can tell you. 33, is that right? You know, there's some people that like count their sheep and they're like, I've got that many there, that many there, that many there. Um, there's 120 there, 200 there. Yeah, that's not me. I'm not that guy. I wish I was, I'm just not. Just got a little young mule up here that's covered in brambles so to pull them off. It's gonna hurt me. Put your sleeve over your hand. Yeah, imagine having sleeves. Hey. That one's gonna be the worst. Oh! I'll do it. I'll do it with my sleeve if you want. That's alright, innit? Silly goose. You're welcome. I'm so glad that's done. I know they're going to be good here for a good month. Don't have to worry. And they're in much better condition than I thought, so. I'm just ending the day where I started it. Check in for lambs in Brambles. You can do it, mate. You can do it. This is why we shear them. Where I moved those ewes today, that particular family have been so, so good to me and Zoe. I, I just, I can't thank them enough. They've never asked too much, never asked the earth for anything. They've been very laid back and they just want to see us get on. I won't mention who they are because I don't want to embarrass them. I doubt they even watch my YouTube, but I just, I cannot thank them enough for how, how helpful they've been to us because it really helps. Like we haven't got anything and when you're trying to build something for nothing, it really helps when people are just giving you a chance. They're just giving us a chance. Anyway, thank you all for watching my YouTube. If you haven't already, click the little subscribe button. Doesn't cost you a penny. Helps me, great deal. Bye bye.